Alright, I think it's about this simple. Get that focus just right. Crank sensor. Normally held at 5 volts or 12. I don't know what the one I got is, but it sends a ground pulse every time the wheel passes it. DC filter. Uh, capacitor gets charged doing that. Discharges here. And you end up with this. Although it's kind of discharged and then normally charged because that's the way I chose to do it. Could flip that around and then probably hook up the comparator backwards later. Uh, the trigger coming from the crank sensor needs to be longer than whatever the duration of that ends up being. So if I put just a tiny little screw head on the outside of a flywheel that's massive, then we're talking a very brief window that that's turned on. So I either have to put a gigantic tab that turns the crank sensor, activates the crank sensor long enough, or have to use some sort of conditioning circuit like a 555 timer to consistently make sure that's on enough time. Because uh, if the ground signal is gone too quick, then this full discharge won't happen and it won't idle. So that arbitrary crank pulse that I get at the end there and the map sensor just go into a comparator. And the map sensor signal is higher than that arbitrary crank pulse sensor. MOSFET turns on, fires injector, flyback diode on it that I might have wrote in backwards. Basically that looks like this. Probably should have put these in the opposite spots or whatever they're color coded. Green represents when the injector's on. Open up the throttle, map sensor sees a higher pressure, so that signal goes up above that pulse, so the fuel injector stays on longer. It should be about that simple. It'd probably be better if this was a straight line, so I could have that arbitrary crank pulse just uh, go between 0 and 12 volts. The map sensor will never go above 5, so it would never see... It, it'd see a straighter line. It'd give me more consistent fueling. So I may end up doing that. We'll see. Some of the parts still need to show up. Right now I only have the uh, map sensor. So... We'll see.